Welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to create a dumbbell charts. Dumbbell charts also known as DNA charts and they are basically used to measure difference between two points. So you can see there are two circles which is uh, blue circle and orange circle and there's a length which, which is given in the between. Okay. So the bigger the length that means bigger is the sales, higher is the sales. The smaller gap or the smaller length is having the lower sales. Okay. So let us see practically first of all how to create it. Then I will explain the meaning of this dumbbell chart. Let us see that. So first of all it will follow the same uh, concept that is dual axis concept. So I'll just go to this dumbbell chart sheet and create here a subcategory sales bar chart okay subcategory sales bar chart now understand whenever you have a dumbbell on the both sides we have a circle and in between we have a line okay so that's a dual axis chart so now i will bring one more sales on the column shelf so these are two charts convert this both charts into a dual axis okay convert into dual axis this is one done now as the function or as the dumbbell chart name says it is trying to measure between two points okay so what i'll do is i'll try to measure the sales done in year 2016 and 2018 so when i drag and drop this order date into filters because there are four years i just want to find out two years and i'll just select the option years 2016 and 2018 i want to see the difference apply okay so the data which you can see right now it is for two years only now what I'll do is I'll select the first sum of sales since both or all the charts are right now circle. So I'll first select the sum of sales of circle, pick up this order date and drop into color. When I drop into color on the right hand side legend will tell me the uh, red color stands for 2018 and blue color stands for 2016. So when I select copious, when I select copious, this blue color stands for 2016 and this red color stands for 2018. So in year 2016 sales were 10,000. Now you see the x axis 10,000 and in 2018 the sales have become as 49,000. So the, the, the width of this or you can say connecting point will be bigger here. Okay. But now there are two circles. Now my job is to bring a line in between so that I can pick up the dumbbell and do the gym. So I'll just go to the second sum of sales option and instead of automatic which is a circle I'll select the option as line. Okay. Now when you select this line what is happening is this line is connecting between all the subcategories actually line should connect between two circles right so by default connecting between subcategories so here one step extra so order date into path when you bring bring this order date into the path so the path is decided between these two order dates okay now this is a dumbbell chart so i think only the size should be increased so i'll click on all button and i'll increase the size you have to watch this video twice and thrice to understand the steps definitely now once you increase the size and i will explain the meaning of this chart now entire view and i'll increase the width here okay now if you see copy is which is having okay let me go back because the circle is going at the back end the line is coming in the front end so i'll drag this sum of sales and drop it before the sum of sales now circle will come in the front and the line will go in the back okay now let us observe copious sales of copious it was the blue color is in the beginning that means 2016 circle is in the beginning okay and the sales have increased bigger okay on the higher end so 10,000 onwards to how much 49 or 50,000 so 40,000 of gap so you see the line or the length is bigger on the other hand if you see the length of this one okay the length of paper in 2016 it was 14,000 and in 2018 only 20,000 so only 6,000 is the increment I have so lesser the increment the less will be the length of this line okay that is one thing second what you can understand from this chart all the places 2016 should come first that means all the blue colors should always come first because it's the first year some places you cannot see the blue color first for example in this place if you see for machines that means in machines 2016 sales were 62,000 and in 2018 sales the uh, what you call sales were 55,000 so from 62 to 55 approximately 7,000 sales have come down so whenever you see the circle blue circle first and red circle uh, or you can say as blue circle on the right hand side red circle first that means the sales have decremented always remember when you click on this 2016 blue circle should be the first one that means sales is the minimum 2018 sales should be obviously maximum so exceptional case if you see i have this one 
this name is machines so sales in machines have come down to 7000 okay so this way a dumbbell chart gives you two information between comparison between two points and second thing is how much is the comparison whether it is incremented or decremented based on position of the circle color okay so i hope you have understood how to create this dumbbell chart that's all for this video